So the hay fever's not much better. I wonder if our league form's good though. Let's go check it out. G'day viewers, welcome back to Pennies to Pounds, Season 7, Part 2. My name's Wayland, but most people call me Wally. Today we've got two names for you. They're not going to be both against Bowers and Pitsy. But the first one's against Bowers and Pitsy. They're first in the division. And we'll bring you the Cogsall game second off. Our league form, it's not been great. As you can see, we've lost two in a row here in the league, and then we lost in the cup. We really needed this win here for morale. I think morale management is going to be the name of the game for us this season. Um, we're going to have to use team meetings, which is something I've had to use before. I have to rotate players in that have got good morale and good form from the under-23s. And, yeah, we just have to be a little bit smarter about how we do things this year. Uh, league table-wise, that leaves us 13th on the ladder with 10 points. Well... I'd like a few more. I want to, I want this number to stay ahead of that number. Lelujo calls it the Kev ratio, but it's just it's called bloody common sense. You score a point from every game, and there's a good chance you're going to stay up. Only two relegation spots, and to be fair, I think we've got a, a lot of these teams covered. I mean, if we're comparing ourselves to Yorkshire Amateur, who came from our original league, they haven't got any further than this, so we're doing well to be here with them. That's probably going to be my... Measure of success is where we finish in comparison to Yorkshire Amateur. And in the grand scheme of things, we're only four points outside of the playoff spots here. Uh, we lost to these guys. We lost to these guys. We're about to play these guys. So hopefully that's a run of bad matches out of the way. Transfer news-wise, we've brought this guy in, and Johnny Page. Now, Johnny Page, how's that work with the team name you say, Wally? Well, Wally's fact of the day is at the church... In Penistone is St. John the Baptist, so Johnny Page is in. Of course, we can't leave him as Johnny Page. He has to be... Johnny Cage! So Johnny Cage comes in to us. He's... It says he's that good. It says he's better than Johnson as a fullback. What is also notable is that he's an all right central defender, and central defence has been a problem, unfortunately. But he's got good natural fitness and jumping reach. He's not that tall, but good determination, good decisions, good concentration, good anticipation, and great tackling. That's what I'm wanting for him. I'm currently kind of trading as a as a right back. I don't really don't want, don't want to play him as an inverted wing back, but I've had to play him there. So bad are the right back problems. I've tried three or four players there now. Well, mainly the first two, but. In an effort of rage last game, I started Callum Bishop there. And, of course, he's just as slow as the rest of them. And he got lapped as well. So, Johnny Cage is not much faster, but hopefully he's a little bit smarter than the rest of them that we've played there and won't get dragged out of position so easily. So, we go into this match against the top of the league side. We're going to go attacking. I've tried playing the balance counter-attacking and we just go down and end up chasing the games anyway. So why not attack from the onset? So we go in with Kratorix and goal, a back for of Johnson, Nuttall and Dong resume their partnership there. I'm hoping it works. We've been struggling there. Wood really has failed to gel. Uh, and Johnny Cage at the right back position. Anthony Chubb being somewhat of a utility, I'm going to play him here as the ball-winning midfielder. Uh, a few other guys have had to go there. Steele's being trained up or well, getting match fitted up to play there. Uh, Ed Jobs has played there, but after a spate of early good form at the start of the year, Ed Jobs, he's fallen in a heap. So Twig and Berries has won his starting spot back in the middle. Hancock and uh, Riggity Riggity Rigby. Riggity Riggity Rigby's come to me. He's had a cry. He's saying, boss, I've been here forever. You got to play me more, you know. And I was stupid. I made him a promise. I said, yeah, I would. So... As much as I'd prefer to be playing Anthony Chubb out there or even Dominic Cummings, I've got Rigby out there instead. So that is what it is. And Harmwell on wood up front, as you can see, I've dropped Bang to the bench. Now, I'll only bring Bang on if I really, really need him. Like I said, 250 quid in appearance. So I'm only paying him 20 to sit on the bench. So I've got to really need him if I'm going to bring him on. So hopefully Wood and Harmwell do well. 
let's get into it. Yeah, I know Twig and Beggs is struggling. Ed Jobs can play the last 30 minutes if he has to. Johnny Cage is going to have to get used to that, I think. I just, I just, I need you to do a job, Johnny Cage. And I need you to do it well. But I also like Cummings to get a run today. Because the fact that I'm playing uh, Chubb in the midfield here gives me a chance to play both of my right wingers. Because really, Chubb's just been commanding the time there. He's He's got my interest, form-wise or other. He's now a bit of a coach's favourite there. And the other boys are really going to have to prove to me why they're going to get a spot there. Including a club regent like Cameron. But and Dong, no. I thought it was a Dong own goal then. But Wilson's out jumped him. And that's what you're in the team for, Dong. Yeah, a six-foot streak of Pelican shit. And you need to be in front of your man there, Sunshine. Wood gets a start on the restart. It's pissing down in Penistone, and we normally play well when it's pissing down in Penistone. You notice the pitch is a bit better. We've had a spate of away games, and I've tried all the friendlies of pre-season, bar one, were away. As much as that's hurt me financially, I've had to do it to get some sort of playing surface going out here. Uh, th this this team look good. They're, they're, these guys are top of the ladder for a reason. Look at, look at that. Look at that. That is just lovely play. Right, Morrison throws it in. Bromage finds Denton to the middle of the park. Musa to Morrison. Johnny Cage tidies that up nicely, actually. He finds Johnson. Can we get something going on the counter here? Yes, Harnock can knock it down to Hancock. Hancock gives it to Twig and Berries, the playmaker. Back in the side. Harnwell caught out wide here. Back to Johnson. Chubb and Johnson play a little one-two there. Hancock. Hancock in space. He's put Tumble through and it's a goal. It's the equaliser we needed. And that is a typical Penniston goal. Well, the end product is a typical Penniston goal. That build-up play is what we've been doing for the last two years, or well, a year and a half now, I guess, is being a bit more patient on the play and knocking the ball around until we get that ball for Harnwell through. But three balls to Harnwell and Wood with the way last season. Perhaps it's the way this season. Perhaps I was overcomplicating things by throwing in Bang as a target man. Getting all excited by the new signing. Oh, Nutella beat in the air now there. But it is a much better showing from my backs today. We've had all sorts of problems there. Like anyone with pace slower than eight is just getting fleeced out there. The amount of wingers getting around with pace of 10 and 12 I, I need to I, I need to look harder I've almost exhausted my scouting budget because I made a, made a mistake but I need to find someone that's just that scooch faster than the other guys or alternatively someone like Cage who is just going to sit in the right spot and not get stripped Cage knocks it long looking for wood can't find him Bromach puts in a beautiful long ball. Oh, that was offside, but we had control of it all but there. Katorix could have handled it better, and he could have dealt with that better as well. Johnson comes and takes the ball, just says, no, that's mine. Takes it off the, the Bowers player. Bowers and where are they from? Bowers and Pitsy. BMP. BMP. I can't get these. There's just too many words to say in the heat of commentary. Harnwell now. Oh, that's surely a red card. Surely that's a red card. He's absolutely murdered. Harnwell there. And bye-bye, Shabani. You were gone, mate. Go take an early shower. Now, who have we got here to bring on to try and turn the tide of this game? Dave Wood's not playing well. Perhaps I do have to bring Bang on. Yeah, I think that's bang on. Bang on. He can play that poacher role, though. Not going to get overly complicated with things here. I was talking about he's not playing great. Ed Jobs can come on for him. And I think we're going to leave the rest as it is. Oh, Cameron Rigby not playing well. Oh, really? I'm going to Dominic Cummings. 
Oh, really, Cameron River? You're not playing well. I'll show you that I deserve to be playing in this team, boss, he says to me. And then that happens. Johnson now getting called over. Oh, and that's a yellow card for Johnson. Not good. He's going to have to be careful now. Of course, I've already made the subs now, so we're a bit stuck. Okay. That's a dangerous free kick. I don't like the look of this. Oh, Gatorix with a save? No, off the wood. Geez, we were lucky there, viewers. We might push this out for a draw, which is a very good result for us, I reckon. But, of course, now you're a man down. You just want to win, don't you? So we're going to encourage the entire team. We're going to let them, let them off the leash a bit for the last 10 minutes and see if we can get ourselves a goal. There's Hancock on one of his little hooky runs. He always turns around and does a little U10 and then cuts into the middle, Hancock. Ed Jobs with a lovely run there. Bang in the center. Ed Jobs. Oh, you can't quite finish. Oh, you... I was looking to train him with the arrives in the area late trait, Ed Jobs, but he seems to do it by himself. That was... A really good chance there. And again, we've not taken it. Bang. Gives us another one, does he? Yeah, he does. Chubb knocks the ball to Hancock. We we'll have to have a look at how Chubb's gone later on. Playing a more, a less fancy role today. So we're not going to see him on the highlight rules. Cummings goes around. Cummings shouldn't be going himself there. He's cross with himself there. I'm good. I'm not good. I'm glad he's cross with himself because it was a poor bit of play. Run down the wing, lad. That's your job. Bang. Getting into space again here. Bang. Puts it in for Hanwell. And this time, it's a late winner for Peniston Church, is it? Let's hope it is. Cage, it's a lovely ball here. And that's the second one of those that Bang's caught up with. And he puts it across for Hanwell to bang in. How many more Bang puns can I fit in? You've got seasons of it. Bromage now. He's been good for them, Bromage. Finds Lockie. Lockie inside Hancock there. Hancock's not doing a lot about that. Johnson holds him up enough, though, for Hancock to dispossess him, but it goes straight back to them. Christ now. Musa. There's only 40 seconds left. Are they going to score? No, it skims off the top of the bar. Whoa. This is a... Possibly a really good win for us here. I don't want to say too soon. Hancock gets the ball. Gives it back to Johnson. Johnson looks to put Harnwell through. Is there another in it? No, Harnwell's offside. I don't care because that'll be it. The referee will wrap it up as soon as Shabani kicks the ball here. Didn't Shabani get sent off? Did they have, did they have multiple Shabanis? Are there Shabani brothers on the other team? Surely not. Denton. Lockie, and that is it. Oh, that's a good win for us, isn't it? Fantastic. Go to the dressing room. Outstretched arms. No one gave us a chance today. No one. I didn't even give us a chance. Absolutely fantastic. Well, well, well. Well, we have these buggers in the cup next round. I'm not going to show you that. We'll play the cup game off camera, and we'll come back for the next league match. Right, so we brushed aside BMP again in the second game, 2 1, same result. This time, Wood with both the goals. If they're the best team in this division, I'll go he. I think things haven't quite settled down as far as who's who in the zoo in the division yet. So we go into this match against Cogshall, who are 13th in the league, so they're about the same spot as us. We're going with Gatorix and Goal, Johnson, Nuttall, Dong, and Johnny Cage, continuing to learn the inverted wing back roll back there. Horn and Ed Jobs in the center of the park. Um, Twig and Berry still coming back from injury, not 100%. Didn't play well last game, etc., etc. Russell and Rigby being given another chance on the right-hand side. And Harmwell and Wood up front. Let's get into the match and see what we can produce from this. So like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not defending anymore. I'm just going to run out teams and... Do much the same as we did in the old division. Pump the fists. Get out there, boys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. We'll encourage you straight away because that's what you like. 
So it was a much the same against. Ooh, we're much more vulnerable against corners this year. Uh, so it was much the game, same in the second game against Bowers and Pitsy as the first one. We looked pretty good when we were on the ball, but looked a bit dicey at the back. We just happened to defend a tiny little bit better than they did. And that was the end of it. All right, McIntosh on the ball here. You need a McIntosh in today's weather. Jimmy Russell with pace. Jimmy Russell beats his man. Jimmy Russell's got no one across the ball too. And it goes out harmlessly for a goal kick for them. He looks so good, Jimmy Russell. He does excite me. The big excitement boy, Chubb's been rested, but surely because of Cameron Rigby. So I think I made a mistake. Oh, Hanwell should have done better with that. I think I made a mistake. I should have just told Rigby, look, you're welcome to go, son. Or even better, just cancelled his contract in the summer like I did with Billy Law. But I've got him now and I don't want any dressing room dynamics messing up. This is going to be a penalty, is it? No. Coin crosses the ball in. Claridge picks it up all the way on the other side of the field. Nutella rises above. That's what we like to see. Ball's cleared long. Down to Ed Jobs, the string puller in the midfield there. I'm asking a lot of Ed Jobs, really. Twig and Berries took a good year to grow into that role in the centre of the park, and I'm expecting Ed Jobs to go in there and do a better job than him straight away. Look, physically, he's a better specimen. I mean, Twig and Berries is the better passer and can see the play only slightly better. But Ed Jobs is better technique, so... Oh! Miles offside, Hanwell. Miles offside. Miles offside. Yeah. Really, it's like... He should have just left that, but... Never mind. I'm pleased with how things are going here, really, in the grand scheme of things. But just, just, just need that goal. Just need that elusive goal. Oh, that's not the elusive goal we need. That's an elusive goal at the wrong end. Jags on the ball now. He's got a jag. They've got a jag, guys. They've got more than a jag. They've got jags. Ed Jobs on the ball now. Ed Jobs with good on the ball ability. Harmwell. To Jimmy Russell. Jimmy Russell puts Hanwell through and Hanwell scores an absolute ripper. Jimmy Russell and Hanwell. That's becoming quite common, that little combination there. As good as our inverted wingers are, they do crowd up the play a bit there unless they've got something a little bit extra themselves. Jimmy Russell has the extra and he creates space by being a wide man. He is... Slightly shading Hancock, I reckon, for that spot on that side so far this season. Ed Jobs for Rigby. And now Cameron Rigby shows me why he should be selected in the team, maybe. Ed Jobs with a lovely assist there. Things are going well here. Things are going really well. Let's get that. We don't need to see that one again. Rightio. What replay we've got installed here we've got an ed jobs free kick this could go in oh no he's good with the free kicks ed jobs radio we're going to make some substitutions here who's coming off dave wood's not playing well i don't really want to be on bang just for half an hour at 200 bucks but that's going to cause me problems this is not going to get match time so on he comes Let's see if he can bang some in Defensive pair going really well here. Quite happy with that. And I do really want to play Twig and Berries for at least half an hour here, I think. Getting back in the swing of things. So we'll drop Ed Jobs back to here. He played well there in the last game of the Cup, so I got an assist. And Twig and Berries can go back to his normal role. Let's pump the fist, get the boys out there. Right, let's see if we can score another goal and put this one beyond doubt. Coin. McIntosh. Jackson's through. Oh, <laughs> oh, we're lucky there, boys and girls. 
We are really lucky there. Hopefully we can just run this one out now and that would be the best possible result from the episode. Who's over this? Ed Jobs gets another chance at a direct free kick. And this one he scores. Ed Jobs, second goal of the season. Young Edward does the job and does the job well. Look at this. Clink off the bar. Beautiful. Clean as a whistle. 3 0. Good win. We're looking good in the league again. This is what I wanted to see. We've turned around the form and we're winning games. And we, this is what we keep neither doing. Need, keep neither winning. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we need to keep winning games and just keep keep things ticking over, keep scoring points. And, you know, with the start of the season we've had, survival will take care of itself, I think. Right, so we're only going to come back to you. I said, if the cup runs get serious, we'll bring you some cup matches. If not, we're just going to gloss over the cup. So we'll have a look at the schedule here. I kind of want to bring you to the Yorkshire Amateurs game just for Nostalgia Valley because they're an old rival. But it is a bit soon. Perhaps we could do like the Yorkshire Amateurs and then skip a couple and come back and play, I don't know, Ware or Hepburn or something. But yeah, we'll be back for the Yorkshire Amateur game and we'll work out what we're going to do for the second game after that. So if you enjoyed that, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. What should I do with Cameron Rigby? What are we going to do with uh, multiple good right-wingers that we have out there? We'll be back to you in a couple of days with some more pennies to pounds. My name's Waylands, and I'll catch you next time.